are off to the dinner with uh, the group that we went out with today. They've invited us to their home for dinner for a catch that they had last night, so we're off. How you doing, honey? Awesome, thank you. I am pretty good, thank you. Jacqueline, how are you doing? <laughs> She's all right. <laughs> I'm following you. Le sol, ok. Ah oui, ok. Grab that one, Jacqueline, get that gel. Ok. Super. Ok. On a shell collecting mission today. Oops, I almost stabbed myself. Don't do that. <laughs> We quickly became friends with the rest of Kali's family after last night's dinner. So the next day, they invited both Jacqueline and I to go collect cowrie shells on the reef at low tide. Here, many of the local women come to the reef and harvest these naturally beautiful shells to make jewelry and other handcrafted pieces, which we later see sold all over the islands of French Polynesia. Yeah, I see many now. I always enjoy spending time with locals anywhere we go, and a good shell hunt too. We were showed what to look for, how to pick them out, what not to pick up, and even what's good to eat for a midday snack.
<laughs> and you got an assistant too. <laughs> Watch out, dog. How are you doing? Pretty full? Nice. Well, huh? <laughs> Look at all these ones too. Crazy. I say we did pretty good on our little shell hunt. Oh, hi, Ben. Oh. I didn't. Are you impressed with the what we got? Oh yeah. Yeah, you got a lot. You yeah, got a lot. A whole bucket full. A whole bucket full of shells. Okay. We can make our own things now. Woo! Nice work. Two things actually that are important to mention are that uh, it's really important to time this during the day when the sun is the highest in the sky so we left around right before noon so that we have a good view of all the bombies because if we would have left in the morning when the sun is lower the reflection on the water is terrible and you just can't see them quickly enough so you pick a time when you can do it you know, in the middle of the day luckily it's only a two-hour journey that brings me to the next thing is that we're motoring which we hate to do but we have a two hour motor or we have like a six hour sail and sailing back and forth throughout this bomb field is not something that we really want to do. It's, we're taking advantage of, you know, making all this electric by making water and also running a load of laundry. So it's all good. Making sure that we and the boat are anchored comfortably okay. and safely is always a priority. So picking the best spot ah, can come with some challenges. Ever since moving aboard, Warren and I have learned a lot over the years. And although we have sailed over 20,000 nautical miles, it still doesn't make us pros. And as we continue to explore new destinations, there also comes different challenges and conditions to which we need to learn about. Such as this moment. Anchoring inside the atolls may seem simple enough, with the calm, flat, clear waters, void of any swell or currents. However, the difficulty is anchoring around coral bombies that are scattered throughout the lagoons. With our catamaran, fortunately, we can anchor in shallower waters, making for some of the most picturesque of locations with the boat. However, here, 
positioning the boat in a large enough sand patch, as well as avoiding bombies that could potentially damage the boat, was a new one for us. So again, anchoring in good light and visibility is key, as well as forecasting for a full rotation if weather were to change on us. Which can and does often, given that we are still in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, no worries. I wouldn't work your way this far in because there's just so many bombies around that it's going to be difficult for us to even find a spot where they're not going to cause an issue, which is what we're dealing with right now. So, Ten bro, I'll uh, stop talking and let you deal with it. <laughs> and no worries. All right, we'll see you guys when you guys get comfortable too. Well, that worked really well. The open CPN was a huge help. There were a lot of bombies, but man, it was okay with full sun like that. I wouldn't want to do it on a cloudy day or if it was darker. But man, there are a lot of bombies around, but it is just absolutely paradise. Just gorgeous. Our friends on that boat came up with us, and there's only two other boats here, so we basically have this place to ourselves. So it is game on to explore all of these little things over the next few days, and then on to the next atoll. Beautiful. So now it's time to get wet, check the anchor, and just take a little dip, see how we're doing around here. <laughs> the sand is like so fine. Yeah, oh, it's incredible. I mean, it's coral. Yeah. Let's swim over to that bombing. Okay. making our patio? Yes. Oh, very cool. This is our new beachfront property. Yeah. Just purchased. We have beachfront property here and waterfront property right over there. Hello, friends. How you feeling? Good. Tip top? Rested. Nice. Well done. Oh, yeah. How's that working out for you? Oh my gosh. Another one. <laughs>
Yes. Wow. <laughs> nice work. That'll do. Get the appropriate juice. <laughs> We're going to be drinking good now. <laughs> we weren't before. Because I uh, never drink it again. No, later today. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me cut open one of these. Let me cut open one of the big ones. No coconut is treated equally, though. That's a good point. I'll just try and get like five more. Okay. Did that one perfectly. Wow, hon. Thank you. That's amazing. Can I have a sip of that? Yeah. Can Take that the... meat first. Okay, now try it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a lot of juice. That is a lot of juice. Oh, that is so good. good. Oops. <laughs> oh, God, she keeps dropping everything. That is delicious. Now let's put some rum in it. Wow. How is that? So delicious. The, mm. the meat? All of it. Mm. Wow. Excellent mission for the day. It's finding coconuts. Mm. There's no shortage of coconuts here, no doubt. And we're extracting all the juice and the meat. We wrap rum. I think it's a really wonderful day for a day at the beach. Excellent. Work, lady. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice coconut broth. That is good. Yeah. Yeah, I think a spoon. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm gonna test them all. Test them all before we dump them in. Here you go. This is less um pretty. Oh yeah, that's coconut. That's coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Side note here, I want everyone to know that in French Polynesia, um, it's basically every coconut does belong to somebody. So it is to be known that we did ask for permission from the people in the village where we were earlier, if we could get some coconuts. So um, don't ever think that you can just come and chop them all down because they do belong to somebody here as they make Cobra. It is probably their number one product that they produce here. Mm. So good. Mm. Wow. Oh my. My goodness. Wow, babe. Look at you. I got it all. You did. Or do we rinse it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Woo. All right. Can't find coconuts without rum, right?
as if it's not super obvious, we are absolutely loving it here and we don't ever want to leave. We don't want to at leave all. at all. <laughs> That's going to get old. Uh, yeah, the days are kind of all melting together. We're just really don't even know what day it is. Um, we're going to go do another beach day. Just do a little bit more relaxing and a little bit more games and fun and we found that Wait, swing. Games or relaxing, which one? We can do it all. We can relax and have fun with games. So another beach day, swim around. Same as yesterday, same as tomorrow probably. Oh, it's just gorgeous here. Grab all the essentials. I got all the run. toys. Hey, should we get the paddle game? Let's do that. Paddle game? Yeah. Okay, it'll be fun game day. To the beach. <laughs> See you there! time now and it's just fantastic you know little boat projects here and there nice meals together all the time some days we do a lot some days we do hardly anything and just dive into books and naps and the hammock and you know these walks on the beaches it's not bad not gonna lie this is exactly what we were hoping it's to regain some of that time that we spent um, just days and weeks and boat projects and permits and applications to get here and everything and now we've reaped the benefits for sure. It's just, it's beautiful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 